Most phones nowadays have a fingerprint sensor, and if it doesn't, then it most likely has an alternative biometric unlocking method such as facial recognition. But I think it's safe to say that fingerprint scanners are near their peak when it comes to performance and accuracy. Sure, some sensors may be faster than others, and there are differences in placement and size, but usually you can unlock a smartphone with a fingerprint sensor in under a second no matter where it is or how big it is. The next logical step, which we've seen in recent phones like the OnePlus 6T, was to include the fingerprint sensor in the display itself to make room for a bigger end-to-end -end bezel-less screen. That's something that would have seemed unbelievable just a few years back, yet not multiple phones have implemented this feature. Devices like the already mentioned OnePlus 6T, Honor Magic 2, Vivo Apex, and Vivo X2 Plus UD all have in-screen fingerprint scanners. Here's how it works. The underscreen optical sensor is placed in a static spot, most likely towards the bottom of the display. When needed, an icon is then used to show the user where they can place their finger to unlock the phone. Believe it or not, that same icon is used as a light source to illuminate your finger for the sensor so that it can read the ridges of your fingerprint. For example, OnePlus has even thought about which color of light would give the best results when it comes to illumination and recognition, and they concluded that it's green. That bright light under your finger isn't just for show. After the sensor reads your fingerprint, it then compares the readings with the encrypted stored data from previous measurements to unlock the phone. And just like before, the accuracy of the stored data improves over time. An in-display fingerprint sensor is definitely one of those look at what my phone can do kind of features, and it feels like the future, but the technology isn't quite up to par with the older style capacitive fingerprint sensors just yet. For example, on my OnePlus 6T, screen unlock can be a hit or miss situation. Usually it'll recognize my finger well and unlock it under a second, but other times it'll take a bit longer, up to two to three seconds long to recognize. Worse, it sometimes won't even unlock at all. And it's not like it's a rare situation either. It occurs at least two to three times a day. And I'm sure it's a similar experience with other under display fingerprint sensors on other smartphones. Of course, I'm not oblivious. In display fingerprint sensors have only been around in phones for about the last year, so it's still in its early stages, but it definitely looks promising for future generations and there are a lot of potential future benefits. For one, it doesn't affect the screen in any shape or form, including display quality or performance. Secondly, a screen protector or small screen cracks won't obscure the readings. It's only if the screen cracks are really bad that you may encounter some problems. And lastly, in the future, if we can actually integrate the reader within the display and not underneath it, we can even have larger areas for fingerprint recognition and maybe even the entire display can be a fingerprint reader. That's right, someday you may be able to literally tap your phone anywhere on the panel and your phone will unlock securely. There are even some awesome ways to further enhance your security in the future when using an in-display fingerprint reader. We could have continuous authentication where your phone never stops checking your fingerprints while you use it to make sure that no one has yanked it out of your hand while it's already been unlocked. It could also be used to provide a multi-factor authentication method where you can use multiple fingers at the same time to unlock the phone. That sort of technology is years away, so for now we can only fantasize. The next logical step is to make the current under display fingerprint sensors a bit faster and more reliable. We're talking a second or a second and a half faster with fewer tries. That way in the future, more popular OEMs such as Samsung or Google can jump on this train. I'm definitely on board with this change. Having the fingerprint sensor on the front of the phone allows me to easily unlock and use it while it's flat on a table, but I can see how some people would still prefer a fingerprint scanner on the back since it may feel more intuitive and natural when holding the phone, especially if you're used to it being there already. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like the idea of an in-display fingerprint sensor or do you prefer a regular scanner on the back of the phone? or maybe you'd be more satisfied with facial recognition. Either way, that's it for this video. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Follow me on Twitter or Instagram at HowToMen for more Android content and giveaways, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!